middle child is like the funniest one. Uh -huh. So, or like someone close to the end. So that's why I'm the funniest person in the family. Usually the middle child is the black people. I know. So I think sometimes people don't want to let go. I keep thinking, like if they love someone so much, or they care about someone, they don't want to let go. So they're talking about letting go. And I kept thinking about Holly trying to let go, but she can't let go. Do you think you have a hard time letting go? <laughs> sure. When God put someone in my life, I consider them to be someone I'm supposed to care for and watch over my entire life. You know what I mean? I, I don't think of it as, oh, this is just a temporary boyfriend. Or this is just, you know. Jamie's like a son to me. He's more like a child. Man, well, come to think of a lot, know, of, a lot of a lot of guys are kids. Remember. But he he's he's definitely shown me he has man qualities. Excuse me, you want to you say know? to you? What? Um, a lot of guys, no matter how old they are, they're always a kid. Because I ran to an older guy when right, I was that's dating. My I was, dad is. I was hanging out with him, and he was like a kid. So speaking of black sheep, thanks for inviting me to Thanksgiving because. Nobody, everybody always forgets about me. I was invited to places where I don't want to go to. Well, that's what, ja <laughs> okay. that's what Jamie was thinking too, that everybody forgot about him. Have you ever uh, thought lately, I've been thinking about this lately for the past week, with whoever you're hanging out with in your 20s and 30s, you're not hanging out with them anymore when you get older. Have you ever thought about that? Like I used to be close to some of my cousins and I used to be close, uh, I used to have a crowd of friends um, when I was Scott's age, because I'm a lot of years older than Scott, and maybe like 17 years, but I used to have all these friends years ago, and uh, I'm not hanging out with the same people I used to know in the past. Have you ever thought about that too? Guess what? What? Guess what that means? What? Look, that means they're not real friends. Yeah. Yeah, always keep that in mind. Yeah, and so. My legs are cold. So I was thinking real friends stick with you regardless. In a travel act series, she keeps, she's very self-conscious about things all the time. She's so self-conscious, it drives, it drives me crazy. It's like I can't be in tune with what's going on now. I mean, she's self-conscious where you keep track of every little thing in life. Uh, <laughs> I noticed- Somebody has to. You know what? Yeah, I was so mentally exhausted after hanging out with you yesterday. Let me tell you why. Because I couldn't stop thinking about what happened. That's why I don't want to talk about it on camera. I said, Oh, over there? Yeah. I learned a lesson a long time ago not to pass time. Oh, you know, I'm motivated. I don't want to feel unmotivated. If I sat around the TV all day long, I'd be passing up my life. You know what I mean? I had a really bad pain in my upper stomach. And I, I mean, it was really bad. It was like striking pain. And I didn't I didn't know. I don't like, I thought maybe it was my appendix or something. I didn't bursting. I, I didn't know. Are you sure so you're I joking, to, Ron? No, this is a true story. Uh -huh. I went to the emergency room and they, they took x-rays of my stomach and literally all they determined was that I was full of shit. I had so much poop in my intestines. Well, I just thought of something smart. That they, it hadn't, excuse it, me, it was just caught, excuse me. it was stapped up. Maybe they're full of shit for saying that about you. No. <laughs> Keep that in mind. No, I was full of poop.